Okay, so uh, today is uh, probably Thursday, and what we're doing today is we are putting together our skits. Now, as you are well aware, each of you have written one skit, and this was mine, uh, just an example one that I did, and uh, basically what you are doing is each of you will be in a group. So the, even though everybody has wrote their individual skit, what will happen is uh, uh, four of you will get together and essentially you will read each other's skits and determine which one you think is the funniest or which one would be the one that you'd like to perform uh, for a podcast. And so all the other ones you don't worry about, you just worry about that one. What we'll do is we'll get that and we'll make copies of it so that everybody has a sitting copy. Then the next step is to basically choose one of you to use your computer. So whichever computer is probably in the best shape and whoever may have the best working uh, foundation for technology, that would probably be your best bet. You'll be given a microphone that looks like this. Uh, there, I have four of them, and then I have another one that uh, literally looks like a microphone. And they will be designed to sit around the table. It, they plug into your USB, and uh, what you will do is you will use those, so you will center everybody around the microphone, and then you will uh, essentially begin recording. And, and you record basically the narrator or the, the, the people in it and stuff that, that are doing this. And you literally perform the skit through uh, audio, which will be a little bit uncomfortable for some of you because you'll feel self-conscious that you're speaking out loud in front of a microphone and that it's recording you. Uh, but don't be, don't be shy. You'll probably do a couple of run-throughs to, see, to, get, to get the feel of it, to get comfortable. And then you'll perform it. And the crazier you act, the, the better it'll sound and the better it'll, it'll uh, turn out. So what you'll do is you'll plug your microphone in, which we do. We have it plugged in. And the program that you're going to use is going to be Audacity, which is on your computer. So you'll click on that. And it'll load the program on there as it's doing on my computer right now. And then when it opens up, uh, make sure that before you open this program up, you have your microphone plugged in. Because what Audacity is doing is it's running uh, a an access to knowing what's all plugged into the computer. If you plug it in after Audacity is open, it won't pick up your microphone. So once it's open, the first and most important thing to do is first go up to where this microphone is right here and go to this part right here and check to see that your microphone is being used, which ours is not. It's the primary sound or internal microphone of your computer, which is extremely horrible. You want to go to where it's the USB and that will pick up the sound. And then what you can do to practice to make sure that it's working is your microphone sounds right up here. You want to make sure that that's turned up a little bit and that the volume is turned up a little bit so it's your playback is is you know to a degree where you can listen and then when you hit record it should be recording see how it's uh, moving the uh, the stuff around right there that's basically your your voice and you can click and hit play and you can hear the playback and see what it sounds like now with these external microphones plugged in you won't be able to hear it on your computer you'll have to get a pair of headphones and if you look on the on the microphone it has a little spot to where you put the plug in right here that's where your headphones would go so only one of you can actually listen to the uh, audio that's being recorded at a time or actually two if each of you take an earbud so if you don't like this audio recording that you did there's a little X right there and you can just hit close so primarily what you're doing is when you hit record you're, you're recording your podcast everybody is talking and they're doing their their own little thing um, in their in your skit when you hit stop um, that will create a new one so if I wanted to create another one look what it does it, it restarts a new recording down underneath and it overlaps the one on top so in the event that you need to pause you want to hit the pause button whenever you're recording so whenever you're recording let's say that there's a pause or whatever you just simply hit pause it's going to even though the the program if you look at the top you know right over here is still picking up the microphone it is not recording and then all you have to do is just unclick it and it'll continue straight on from there and so you want to use that as a means to record okay not hit the stop button because that might confuse you um, anyways now what this will do the audio track is this is your right speaker and your left speaker so whenever you're recording right now everything will be in the middle 
and the volume is set up straight up the way it should be. Now let's say for instance that uh, you wanted to add a few things. So if you go back and look at mine, uh, in my scene, you know, I'm, the, the two are talking, but we have a situation where I put in starting the car, so the car's going. So I may want that sound effect. So if you feel like adding any sound effects, just simply open up your web browser and go to the website called www.findsounds.com and what's really cool about this is you simply type in the, sur the sound that you're looking at so I may say car starting and then they have examples here so I can just hit this to listen to them and then if let's say I click on this link and it opens up and I like the sound I simply right click go to save link as and it'll give me the opportunity to save it okay into my music and I can create anything I want so I may put car starting or something like that and then hit save and then it saves it these are what they will look for it'll look for wave and mp3 these will all be usable so if I have another car starting and I go to save link as and I like that one as well see it says family car I may do that one so I hit save and it saves that I go back to my audacity program everything is stopped this is my full recording we will pretend like it's a good recording and that that's the one I want I go to file I import the new audio so it's gonna ask me where it's at I go over to my music where I saved it and there it is so I got the family car so I open it up and it's going to insert it right here so this sound is going to overlap this sound now because they're both on the same level this one's going to be extremely loud so if I want it to not dominate this whole thing what I may do is move it down a little bit so that I'll hear this sound starting but my talking and stuff will actually uh, be the same level so therefore we'll hear the car starting in the background but at the same time it won't dominate and so I have it right here at the beginning now let's say for instance that I want this sound to start at another location in the speaking I simply click on this arrow right here which is the time shift I go down to the audio that I want to shift and I simply click and drag and move it so there may be where I'm talking and I want the car to start right here that's all I have to do then I make sure I go back to my selection tool so I can use it properly and uh, primarily do that now I can shrink this up so that if I'm adding more audio tracks I can see them all what this is is the plus and minus tool so right now you can see how it's showing the seconds if I shrink it it will shrink the seconds down to where I can manage and see all of it together uh, which helps because if I wanted to move this to a certain location I can just move it nice and easy and see that location uh, as it shrinks it down if I wanted to edit just one single word or something like that I just simply extend it out to where it's very very small and I can simply highlight what I want deleted and then just go up to where the scissors are and cut it Okay other features that you can change if you want to and it's only up to you is if you go up to effect you can change your pitch or your speed so you can make a make you sound like you've got a deeper voice or you can make you sound like you've got a girl's voice that kind of thing you just simply click on it and then simply move the slider across and that'll deepen it or that'll make it go faster so it'll lighten the voice or it'll go deeper and then you just preview it and then it'll play it uh, after it elapses it'll settle this in and and uh, the part that you selected anyways and then it'll play it okay then you can hit OK and that'll that'll change it or you can cancel it when you are done messing with the sound effects and adding in any special sound effects that you might find on the website you have to finalize this so you'll go to file and what you want to do is export it and when you export it, if you have the MP3 or the WAVE uh, 
whichever one is available give it a name so whatever the name of your skit is that's what you want to put notice that it's going to save it to your music and then you just hit save and it will actually um, take all these tracks and make them into one audio file and that is what will be uploaded to Moodle so in a group of four it'll only be on one computer it's very important that you put when you upload uh, in the title uh, who is in your group okay so if you go to to file and we export and we're gonna give it a name so let's see uh, fart in the car by and then you put the name of the people that are in your in your class or in your group and just keep adding them in and then hit save I'll know who your group members are now keep in mind as you create this that in order to do the podcast in order to take part in this uh, in this program on Thursday you literally have to ri have written a skit if you don't write a skit you won't get credit for it. you'll take a zero for the group work because you didn't do your skit or if you can't get it turned in on time you can't be a part of a group that you might have wanted to be a part of because you don't have your project done so you have to write the skit on time in order to get put into a group to be recorded on time otherwise I'll put you or you'll you'll put yourself really in a group that is behind already and uh, that will may get to the point where you may have to do your own uh, by yourself almost so anyway uh, should be a little fun playing around with this and getting this done uh, we'll have two 90 minute periods uh, for my for all my classes except fifth period fifth period yours is due on Wednesday just like everybody else but you've had three days in a row to do it and uh, then there the audio podcasts have to be finalized and completed on Thursday with the block scheduling so that's it uh, any questions let me know good luck and have fun with it